Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create role in MariaDB. So what exactly role is? Uh, role is an object uh, that you create to group the permissions. Uh, so let's say you have selected the lead update and you on multiple databases uh, and you would like to group them into one object, uh, you call them role. Uh, once uh, you create that role, have the permission assigned to that role. Uh, now, whenever you create a new user, uh, you do not need to go to uh, the each of the database and provide those permissions mission individually to that user what you will do you will assign that user to the role as the role has all the permissions already then user will be able to access those objects according to the permission now let's learn this by using an example let me connect to the MariaDB by using a root user and from here what we will do we'll create two users first okay so I'm going to go ahead and create a two user create user and I'm going to call that one user TB and the, the rate local host and uh, identified by password. So provide the password one, two, three, and let's create another user called TB. Okay. And uh, from here, I'm not providing the permissions to these users individually. I'm going to create a role and then uh, use that role uh, to assign to these uh, users. Uh, so first of all, let's take a look on our databases. Uh, so show databases will uh, give us all the databases. I, I have HR database and I have Tech Brothers database. Uh, so what I would like to uh, do, I would like to create a role and then provide a select permission on HR. And then uh, on Tech Brothers, I would like to provide select delete update and insert permission to that role and then uh, finally we will assign that role to the tb in case uh, if i do not have a role what i have to do i have to provide uh, permission to tb on hr then i have to provide permission to the uh, tb to the tech brothers the same way i have to repeat uh, uh, the process so i have to provide the permission to tb1 on hr that will be select permission and then uh, uh, again, I have to provide uh, select, delete, update, and insert uh, permission on tech brothers to the TB. So think uh, if I have uh, 20 different users, uh, then I have to keep repeating the permissions uh, for each of the databases. Uh. But in case of role, uh, I will create a role, provide the permissions, uh, and then just assign that user to that role. That will make our life easy and uh, uh, it will really uh, get very easy to manage when uh, uh, you have a lot of uh, users uh, and uh, you have a lot of uh, uh, permissions uh, you have to kind of divide to the users uh, now okay so we'll say create role that's the syntax uh, and role name uh, i'm going to call this one uh, uh, let's call this uh, um, <laughs> this is sometimes hard to uh, come up with the right name so we'll uh, uh, say um, my first my role uh, let's say call the db role okay so we created a role and we named it db role fine now second part is granting the permission to this role so we'll say grant select on and we have hr dot asterisk to and to who role not to the user so because all the permission will be provided to the role first and then role will be assigned to the users okay so fine this is done now we would like to provide select and uh, update delete insert on tech brothers and all on uh, dot asterisk means all the tables let me put in the middle so you can see uh, a little bit better okay now to all the tables to who to the roller so we are assigning these permissions uh, to the roller okay looks good and permissions are done now if you would like to see the permission of what are assigned to the role so you can say show grants for the, your role name so db role and you can see the permissions are granted successfully great next part is uh, now you are going to assign the user to the role so we'll say grant db role to user so it is tb at the rate localhost 
that's all so if you have 20 or even 30 users this is the only statement one line statement you have to do for each user and in, if instead of you provide a separate permissions on each of the database to you to those users that was a complex and hard and lengthy process so that's why we create the role group the permissions and then uh, assign that role to the users okay great and then uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, provide the assign the role to the tb1 as well we are all good here let's exit from here now we'll come back with the, our user tb and password we know the password one two three we logged in now if we'll say show databases it should uh, show us the databases right because uh, we have created a role that has permission on hr and uh, tech Brothers database uh, and we assign that role uh, to the tb but uh, when we uh, connected to the maria db with the tb it is not showing us the databases uh, because uh, when you log in uh, it does not assign the role automatically so you have to say the uh, you have to set the role uh, once you logged in uh, so you have to say set role and role name so maybe your user is a, ha, is a part of multiple roles so maybe you have a junior working as a junior dba in the morning and the evening you are working as maybe just a, a business analyst so m different roles are assigned to you depending upon the situation and uh, you want to set them uh, whenever uh, you work let's say if i want to just select the data and there is a role called select so i will set uh, that role for me but if i want to work as a junior dba who can uh, assign the permission who can uh, delete the objects and all that then i will say set role and then role name well uh, maybe junior dba right okay so in our case right now we have only one role so i said set role db role um and one more thing i would like to even do before uh, so if you want to check your current role that's assigned to you you can say current role and you see that it is null because it was it is not assigned so you have to set it db role and now if you run this statement uh, you will see you have a db role assigned to you or set to you okay now if you say show databases uh, you should be able to see all databases uh, but what uh, uh, a role has permission on them and you are added to that role so now we know that we have select permission on hr so we'll say hr dot department that's the uh, one of the table i have there so you can see you can select the data so same way you can use uh, tech brothers if you would like uh, uh, i'm not gonna uh, do insert update delete and all that to make it lengthy but you have all the permissions now select on uh, hr and then you have uh, uh, select the delete insert update on uh, tech brothers so if you would like to just select the data from tech brothers just to make sure dot employee table there is one employee table there okay so you can see the data you can also insert the data if you want now if I exit from here, what happened? Every time I come back, so I will say MySQL dash U T B P and then uh, I have to provide the password. Okay. Now every time I will say select uh, uh, current role. Whenever I logged in, uh, I I I am um, not set to any role, uh, so I have to set the uh, role every time. But uh, um, in case uh, where you will say no i know that uh, whenever I, I log in this is the default role you assign me and if i need to change it later i can set to the different by using the set role or db and the role name so what you do to set to the default you will say set default and then uh, role name i believe that's the, the set default role and role name role name db role otherwise we have to see the statements okay good so you will say set default role and the db role now you exit from here and come back with tb what happened it, the default role will be assigned to you that's our db underscore role so if you will say select current role you are assigned to the db role so if you are having uh, your user is assigned with multiple roles and you want to set one of the role default when you log in you can always uh, do that by saying set default role and then provide the role name so i hope you learned something out of that um, how to create the role how to uh, provide the permission to the role and then how to add uh, 
uh, or assign uh, the users to the roles uh, and uh, see the uh, permissions of the role and um, uh, this this will be really helpful especially if you are working with the DBA, as a dba and um, all the best uh, thanks very much for watching this video i will see you in the next video